Hello and welcome to Malcolm Phillips' tutorial on how to prepare your sprites uh, in advance of making a Mugen character. First of all, you're going to need a sprite sheet. I suggest getting your sprite sheet from the Spriters resource, which you can find on spriters-resource.com. Uh, I've already selected a sprite sheet right over here of Kamugi Nakahara. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to copy this and paste it into paint, which I have already done in fact. Um, I'm just very quickly going to show you how to cut these sprites. It's really easy. If you do not have Photoshop, you can still do this very easily. So paste it in a separate file. After you have done so, do not worry about the axis or anything. Uh, just hit save as. <coughs> uh, and you go to the folder where you want to save all of your sprites, which you should have made or making now. Uh, the, what I usually do is I name them uh, to what animation they're part of, which in this case is idle, and then I simply add the frame number, which is 1. So you get idle 1, idle 2, idle 3, and idle 4. And they hit save, but before you hit save, make sure that uh, save as type uh, is set to 24 bits bitmap, because Fighter Factory will simply not allow any other file extension but BMP, and .pcx, but you don't know how to save as PCX because you have paint, so, unfortunately you have to do it with uh, with paint so 24 bits bitmap save it as whatever really but this is what I usually find useful hit save I already saved them so I'm not going to do that right now uh, cutting the sprites is really easy you just go back here and select the next spray and go to the next spray and etc etc really easy etc etc after you have cut your sprites, you open Fighter Factory. I'm just very quickly going to open Melker and Phillips' template. You can download this from my <coughs> website. Um, so, Komugi, see what's called? Komugi. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to copy this everywhere. Komugi.sff, Komugi.snd, Komugi.air, Komugi.cmd, Komugi.cns, Komugi.cns common states dot cns I'm just going to do this kamugi dot act and whatever you put here it doesn't matter what you call your acts um, dot act is your palette file which we're going to create in a second uh, it doesn't really matter what you call it I'm just calling it kamugi dot act I'm going to call it kamugi one dot act but remind yourself of what you called it because it's going to be important I'm just copying this control c <coughs> Uh, then we are going to the sprites tab and we will go to sprite number 3 which is group 0 image 0 which is the first uh, idle animation <coughs> uh, go to the palette edit uh, tab which is this uh, paint tablet right over here click that and you'll get this box uh, first of all the first thing you want to do is create a, a palette file so you click here the open image button and you look for your sprites and you select these as a BMP um, and you select your sprite sheet so that you are sure that you have all the colors in them uh, since I'm only going to do the idle animation because the sheet has a lot of colors I'm just going to select my idle one animation and if you have selected this there is no colors over here because you have to click optimize. Very important, click optimize. Every time you load a new sprite, click optimize. Can't stress it enough. Uh, there's no really quick way of doing this, but what you want to do is you want to select the first color there, and then you want to hit control, hold control, and then select all of the other colors. Uh, if this is entirely full, you're going to spend some while selecting all those colors, because, yeah, this is the only way to do it. So sorry about that. If you do not have all the colors in your palette immediately, that is no big deal because you can simply add more colors in your character editing process by simply going into this file, selecting the new colors, and putting them underneath the colors you already had. <coughs> now, if you have all your colors, uh, you're going to want to click Transfer Selection to the left, like so, and all the same boxes will be selected, and then you want to go to Transfer Colors to the left like so and all your colors will be selected now you're not done yet with your palette because what you want to do is you want to select your sprites background color which in my case is this weird dark green kind of color and you want to click the rightmost bottommost block 
which in KFM is white and click transfer color. It's very important that you have the background color over there otherwise the background color will not be seen as a transparent color and basically your sprites are going to have your background color following them around all the time which is not what you want. This time uh, in game this color will be filtered out and everything will be out. Now you want to save your palette and now we have to remind ourselves of what that palette was named. I'm just very quickly going to browse through my Mugen folder characters and make a new map for Kumugi. And we're going to save the palette file as kamugi oneact or whatever you called your act file. However it is specified in your .def, that is how you call your act file. Hit save. Doesn't matter what you call it as long as you're consistent. So uh, now you can close this. I'm just going to hit save all. I'm going to browse back to my Kamugi folder I just made. Kamugi. Here it is. And, well, I called everything Kamugi, so just copy Kamugi and save it as that. When you do save your pa um, no, no, palette file, sprite file, be sure to hit shared palette. It's very important. Uh, everything else you can just save, nothing important. Now what we're going to do is we're going to close all and we're going to reopen kamugi.dev and uh, yeah it does this a lot of times then it just screws up the palette over here that sucks then you just gotta uh, reinsert the old .act file name again right over here. Okay, so save all again, close all, reopen your character and then it should be fine like this and now you already have Kung Fu Man with a weird color. Now what you want to do is you want to transfer the BMP images into .pcx files. Why do we have to do this? Because even though Fighter Factory says, oh I can open .bmp files, Mugen, do not, Mugen does not like .bmp files in a Mugen character. They should also be, they should always be .pcx. So how you're going to do that is um, go back to your palette edit tab and where it says insert palette you click add add odd um, and you go to your sprites uh, and you click dot BMP over here and you select all the sprites that you want this palette to have so this one this one this one the four idle frames hit open be sure to hit use say uh, same name of images. It doesn't really matter, but it that yeah, saves time naming everything. I'm just going to stay here in my mutant character folder. Well, because Fighter Factory is a bitch, you can't save it without entering anything. So you can really just enter anything and hit save. It'll be saved as idle one, idle two, idle three, idle four. Dot PCX. And that concludes my tutorial on how to prepare your sprites and make them into PCX. Now you can follow a regular Mugen tutorial by someone else, or perhaps one by me that I will make one day, <coughs> to uh, actually apply these sprites and use them in your Mugen character. Awesome creation thing. <coughs> well, that's it for now. I'll uh, see you around, I guess. Goodbye.